with this video i'm going to be showing you how to build your very own react native mobile app with the hugging face ai models now this is a really straightforward video where we're going over a pretty solid simple principles on how to build an ai mobile app with the hugging face api making use of react native now i have an article that i've written about this that is pretty straightforward as well pretty instructive you can go check it out i'll put a link in the description it's on my hash node this is how to build react native mobile app with hugging face ai models for this tutorial we're going to be making use of the realistic vision ai model on hugging face as you can see right here this is um, a prompt that we've put in and this is the result now what that would look like on our app is this so this is our mobile app running functioning properly and this is the user interface of what we have going on right here i have a prompt that i have written and if i paste that here and submit I'm able to get, you know, a response. So you could think of this as your handy mid journey, if you will. Uh, Hugging Face has really, really cool models you could do really, really cool things with. So we're making use of this AI model, Realistic Vision 1.4, to build out our mobile app. I'll be walking you through how this works, what it looks like, what to expect, and then, you know, just going over the code and showing you how we put a couple of things together just so it makes sense. Again, the detailed article with all of the code and everything you need is going to be in the description below, as well as the GitHub where this is hosted. But without wasting much of the time, let's get right into it. So this is a simple demo react native app that is running on my computer here. And I have a bunch of prompts that I have copied quite literally from a different source and this is what it would look like if we were to you know run this on our app so say we run this again you can think of it sort of like your personal handy made journey you could build this and run it on your mobile phone and it'll work effortlessly so again it's probably not as sophisticated as mid journey but there are a bunch of models you could pick out from hugging phase that could do a much better job but this works pretty well for the prompts and the results i will just run one more prompt to sort of see what it looks like this looks pretty good you know relative to the prompt that we've put in and i think it does a good job so back to the code and how how all of this work together to sort of have this beautiful looking simple react native mobile app running now like i said at the core is react native and then hugging face api that's that's pretty much it but i'll be running you through the code so we'll just go through a couple of things so right here we have a simple async function that queries the hugging face api with a post method so this is done when we send in our prompt it takes in our prompt and then sends that as a post request to this api url and uh, we have our authorization which is our api token that we can get from hugging face if you head over to hugging face and you visit your profile and you head over to settings access tokens right here you can get your api key if you need a new api token you can create a new one and then you can generate that i won't be showing this because this is my um, api key so then once that is done in your env file you will simply have to create your new env file and give it um api token will be the name and then you paste your copied api token into that field so the data is the query data which is literally just the prompt and again that is sent into the, to the api now here's the cool part it does all of that and then we get a response which is a base 64 data a binary data that's what we get back from from hugging face we can see that here for us to pull up this terminal this is this is literally the image data that we get back for every single prompt we run right so i can i'll reload this real quick and as you can see so just watch how this is populated with the image data when it is loaded And now, as you can see, so this is the image data. And again, it's obviously because we're console logging that data. That is why we have it on the terminal. All right, awesome. So this is the function again, like I said, that handles all of the API requests, which is a post request. So this is a handle button click function that takes in our prompt and sends it to the API. It's pretty straightforward. We have a, a loader set loading tree. So once this is clicked, our loader kicks in and is loading. We take in our prompt. Again, we send it back here. It passes it into here as the query data. That query data takes it and sends it to our API. And this is just, you know, basic um, React Native HTML type thing that gets the user interface built. So I'm currently also working on a download button uh, that will be ready and that will be posted and updated on the GitHub. So that will enable you to download, you know, the responses you've gotten from your API request. 
and you could do whatever you want to do with the image we could do this and actually download and save it locally on your smartphone yeah that is pretty much it so this is a fully functional react native app that can be run on ios and android and the user interface is pretty straightforward of course you can build on top of this you could make really really cool things whatever it is you can think of you can build and you can use a bunch of different ai models to sort of uh you know build on top of as well so this is a text to image model there are a ton of them that you could work with their image to text or text to video and so on everything remains the same it's just going to be taking in a prompt and then sending that as a post request to the api to the hugging face api and receiving that request and displaying it on your user interface and displaying that to your users so again a ton of cool things can be built and i think this is a real really cool boil up plate for people to work with whatever they're trying to build ai mobile apps so thank you for watching again this isn't me you know writing every single piece of code because that has already been done in the article but this is me going over it and sort of explaining what this does in a video format because a handful of people could find this helpful and so this is how it works and i think it is really cool so again one more prompt just to see how all right and we have this and it's 8k so this is super super crispy clear this is how you get started with building ai apps ai mobile apps with react native and the hugging face api i hope you found this useful and helpful it was a pretty straightforward video and uh, please leave comments uh, if you would like to see more videos like this one if you'd like to see videos of building different types of mobile apps using the hugging face api or using any ai api available out there thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video